Hey there, this is Somnath from SomTips and welcome to you to the 15th tutorial of cell programming. In this video, I am going to give you the how can do operation or mathematical operation add, subtract, add, multiplication and division with floating number. In my previous videos, I have done with integer number. I have said that directly Linux kernel or Ubuntu does not support floating point number or float numbers. But in other way, using some commands, you can do this in ubuntu so i am going to do this float number mathematical operation in this video so let's get started so in my previous videos i have already showed that there was a calculator integer now i'm going to calculate that for this is the comment line and echo user asks to enter the first number and going to store is in a then the second number is going to store is in b this is a pretty much same if you have watched my previous video of integer number and it was 13th video i think uh, yes it was 13th video and it is now 15th video so in that 13th video up to the five lines is the same comparing to this program but in the sixth line i have used their expr or directly dollar symbol then a plus b or something to add subtract division multiplication but here indirectly you cannot do to do this you have to do or uh, enter a special function from the bc and this is the bc what you ask bc bc is another language which comes pre-installed with the bash shell and this is the bash shell for it is used uh, it is a this is the arbitrary precision calculator language that means it is arbitrarily precision and calculate only the mathematical operation which is comes pre-installed with this so it is not shell command but it will get all this thing using the bc command so let enter this and here it is how it is look like uh, before going to this, this thing and this is the main operation dollar a dollar b is going to division let's first use with addition and this is the pipe symbol after pipe symbol it is bc dash l you have to use bc dash l to define and work this all the expression using bc not using the cell scripting by bc it will work and the return value or the result will be echoed and stored in s and this symbol i have already so this is the reverse quotation and that's defined the work this quotation under quotation as a statement and work this instruction first then the values will be stored in s not directly all the things is going to store if you are going to enter s equal to without back quotation it will store all the thing as a string but not a plus b of floating points is going to store and so this is the main thing you have to write everything inside the back quotation and which is available top of the tab button of your keyboard so again i am going to say echo then space what is the main thing it is going to give you the result but i am going to if you are going to just echo right away this you will see the result but if you are going to store the result inside of as then you have to go to the echo but if you here just directly this line enter and result will be shown but i am going to store this inside as then next line i am going to echo down the result so here it is i have echoed out the result i am going to save it and remember this is a sixth program prg6 dot sh let's run it so it is asking to enter the first number let me enter a fractional number let enter the second number and the result is coming out 17.2 in this way you can do the uh, different type of and the result is coming out 17.2 so let do a division operation because there are one problem will occur i am going to solve this problem so let do this the division 
and before division let me run the asterisk button let's find out the asterisk is working or not here in bc commands no asterisk is not working so you have to use that backslash why the asterisk is not works i have already seen in my previous videos because the asterisk is here the wildcard character defined in the self scripting so that's why it defines the asterisk character wildcard so you have to use the backslash to define as a mathematical operator so let's run it so it is working so now i'm going to use the division here so enter the first number 7 enter the second number 5 result is 1.4 but there it is occurring huge number of zeros why the zeros is occurring because in the bc there is a number of point after the decimal have been set to the default are the many numbers that's to get the accurate result but if you want to get up to the two digit after the decimal point is it possible yes it is possible we have to set this two decimal only to get out from there to set this what you have to do you have to use the double quotation there after echo it is going to double quotation so echo then double quotation and then write scale equal to your number i have said you have to want to get up to two decimal point that's why i am to write two then you have to use semicolon there remember you have to use semicolon there i have already so there is no semicolon needed in the cell scripting but this is the bc language and other language so that's mean the semicolon is going to work and what is sh file i am going here in the sh file command python ruby everything c everything can run there using the self scripting file so that's why it support multiple language in dot sh so that's why i am using this and remember this after this all the scale you have to close it so let me check uh, have i written all the thing in proper way or not not at all i have not written proper way so let correct it so just uh, close the uh, double quotation after the variable ends not after pipeline pipeline is just defining this is the other language so here it is the result is coming 1.40 as i defined the scale there to 2 and uh, if you want to shift or any other thing on the right side just increase that and if you are going to use their zero that's when it will give you the integer part that is the common sense so in this way you can run or do every floating point operation using this bc and in this way you can do all these things so i hope you have found this video helpful if you found then hit the thumbs up button and share this video and comment if you have any query and don't forget to subscribe some teas to get more videos on self programming near futures i hope to see you soon in my next video